Where did all the true colors on the French Bulldogs go? Like the French used to have so many nice colors. Well, not really so many, because they didn't come in that many colors. They're original Frenchies. But they did come in some nice colors. And it just makes me want to ask, what happened to all the original pretty colors that used to come on a French Bulldog? What happened to the nice pretty colors? Original colors. Like the Brindle Dogs. The French Bulldog, when it's a Brindle, French Bulldog, a black Brindle. Oh, that's a beautiful bulldog. You know? like a tiger stripe brindle where they're like a, a lighter color like a goldish color look it looked like that you know what i mean they're, but the tiger stripe brindle that that was pretty that was pretty fawn brindles well not the fawn brindles just the fawn dogs you know fawn dogs that's an original french bulldog color you know cream Cream would be an original French bulldog color. You know, white. That would be an original French bulldog color. You know, uh, white pied, brindle pied. Yeah, that's the original bulldog color. Um, colors that you really just don't see on today's French Bulldogs. Kind of like crazy, because the only time you can see these original colors is really in the AKC. And you know, when it comes to color in the AKC, the dogs that most people desire, those are disqualification dogs. They don't even fit the standard, you know? Uh, tricolored is a beautiful, beautiful French bulldog. I like tricolored French bulldogs myself. Uh, Merle is just not even in, you know, it's just not a terrier dog, probably. Probably not even a damn bulldog. You know, Merle is a Lapaha blue bulldog color. <laughs> that a Lapaha blue bulldog. You know, that's, that's some type of herding dog. All types of dog. You know, a, a racing dog color, the Greyhound, and you know Lassie. Lassie's family was 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 uh was Merle. <laughs> Lassie, yeah, her family was was Merle. Was Lassie a girl or a boy? You know, I, mean, I don't even know because Lassie could have been a boy with a name like Lassie. You know, well, I'm just saying. Though those you know Brendel and and Cream and and Brendel and White and the, and the Brendel Pies and you know, you know, those are original, original French Bulldog colors. Those are the only colors that the American Kennel Club recognizes. And then, you know, it's like, it's a whole lot of your friends and my friends that'll walk up to you and they'll just tell you all kinds of things about this colorful dog that they have on the ground that they call a French Bulldog. And he has a history. I don't know what kind of history he could have, but you know, they'll tell you all kinds of things when it comes to the French Bulldog. And uh, it's been said that the, the, hey dog, no. See, I told you this thing. Go ahead and go, no. Go. You'll get tied up. You want to get tied up? No. I don't want to tie her up. She's a good dog, but she bites everything in the yard. Have to come out and control the dog. Because when she hear me talking about dogs with undesirable colors, uh, then she wants to know why I'm talking like this. And I just have to let her know too that some of these colorful dogs you know you know the the light blues you know the light dark the dark blues the light grays you know 
the tricolors, the blue brindle, <laughs> the blue, the blue pied, you know what I mean? The, the blue fawn, the blue merle, you know? Man, it's a lot of them, man. You know, the blue cryptic, the blue tick. Those are not Frenchy dogs. They might look like Frenchy dogs, and they and the and the, and the breeder might even tell you that those are Frenchy dogs, but the AKC don't even recognize those dogs. The blues and the grays, they don't have history at the Amer American Kennel Club. And people say they got history, but how? These dogs didn't come from uh, over there in England. They did not come from France. They, they were not breeding no blue bulldogs in France. They were not breeding them in England. They were not breeding them in Europe. Nope. When you look at the uh, history of the French bulldog, they were nowhere near that color. They didn't get that color until they came to America. That's when they got that color. That's when they came to America. Ameri America turned the French blue bulldog blue. That's who turned it blue, you know, because this dog was bred to many different terriers, and none of those little terrier dogs were blue. Nah. See, and then people always talk about traits. Well, it's just a trait that popped up in the dog. In order for that trait to pop up in that dog, it had to be bred in there. Somebody bred that trait in there. And, you know, it is, it's something that a lot of people ain't going to never listen to. You know what I mean? But uh, it, it's true. You know, um, when I was doing some, some history on that dog, man, you know, uh, the, the, the French Bulldog, And in 1898 is when they said that they was going to recognize the bat ears. They didn't even they didn't even like the rose ears on the French bulldog. So in 1898, when I looked looked that up, they said in 1898 is when they recognized the the bat ears. They didn't even want the rose ears. A lot of these dogs out here got rose ears. And the French Bulldog used to have ears that fell. They used to fall down. Those ears were disqualified too. They didn't like that look. See, the, the French Bulldog has always been the, a flashy dog. You know, it's been like just a flashy dog. So, of course, the you know, the new, new French Bulldogs are flashy too. You know, they're beautiful dogs. But in reality, they're not standard dogs, you know. They're $50,000 dogs. They're $500,000 dogs. But they're not standard dogs. They don't meet the standard, you know what I mean? And they won't. You probably will pay $500,000 for this dog, but he, that particular dog and that dog's bloodline will never be walking the floor at the United Kennel Club. At, I mean, at the American Kennel Club. You, you probably have to register them with the United Kennel Club because, you know, now you got a certain whole demographic of people that are popping out with the color dogs and telling you that they're AKC recognized, which is wrong. The reason that the dogs have AKC lineage is because one of the parents might have been an AKC dog. One of the parents might have been an AKC dog. You took that dog and you bred it to a dog that wasn't standard. It wasn't a standard dog. When the puppies came out, you registered those puppies under the dog that you had that was American Kennel Club, which could have possibly been the mom. That was a, a, a real true American Kennel Club registered Frenchie. See, that's how... You know, a lot of these people be hanging the paperwork and got, you know, a lot of other people thinking, well, since the papers say it's from American Kennel Club, then he must be a, reg a registered American Kennel Club dog. No, he's not. His parent was, one of his parents was, and they used that parent 
to register your dog. They sent they sent in the uh, paperwork to the registry with a full blooded dog on the paperwork. They probably took a couple of puppies off the picture that wasn't even standard because they knew the AKC probably wouldn't have registered them. And and probably threw in some other dogs up, up on that thing, registered some other dogs. I mean, all kind of crazy shit these people be doing. But when you look at the standard, your dog doesn't fit it. And I like these dogs. I want you to know right now, when it comes to a color dog, a color French bulldog, I like that shit. I ain't even going to lie to you. I like it. It's just that I know for a fact that a colorful French bulldog is not a pure French bulldog. You know, and the reason that I say that to a lot of people is because you can breed these dogs and then you, you'll you get some puppies that don't even look like Frenchies. Because you know how y'all be talking about they, the traits? Well, along the line, you bred in a miniature collie that was Merle. On, on the mother's side. And then on the father's side, you bred in an Italian Greyhound. So on the father's side, you got an Italian Greyhound bred to a Frenchie. On the mother's side, you got uh, <laughs> a miniature Collie <laughs> bred to a Frenchie. Okay, they both had puppies. Now you know you finna get a Merle up off this litter. Now you take them puppies and you breed them puppies that Collie mix to this Italian Greyhound mix over here. You breed that, looking for some more Merles, but guess what? In your litter, one of them come out with a long nose. One of them come out, and y'all know y'all done seen this because people who, who, who had litters of, <laughs> of these dogs, when you saw dogs in your litter that you knew damn well didn't look like no Frenchie, you never let nobody see it. You got rid of it. You probably gave it away for free. You probably gave that dog away for absolutely free because it's pulling jeans from behind it. You know, them jeans y'all be talking about. Oh, those are jeans. Those are traits. Well, it's pulling traits from behind it, pushing them traits and them jeans into your puppies. Now, you have Merle puppies. Some of them may be fluffy. I be seeing Merle puppies. They be fluffy. And, they, and this dude wasn't even trying to create a fluffy. But... Some of them be fluffy because, you know, like I say, that first generation is going to be the generation where all <laughs> your dogs would just look horrible on that first generation. You probably won't even show us the puppies on that first generation. That's when the traits just come out when you bred that Italian Greyhound to that Frenchie. Them dogs didn't look nothing like no French Bulldog, but they had the traits of that Merle. So what you do, you took one of them puppies and you bred it back to a Frenchie. And, and it came out with a Merle. A, a baby came out Merle. But it looked more like a Frenchie. You know, you got some people out here that's telling you that, that, that you need two copies of one specific dog in order to make that one dog. You need two copies of a Fluffy in order to make one, one Fluffy. <laughs> Come on, man. I can go breed my own picking these to a Frenchie. I don't need nothing from you if I wanted to do that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, y'all, you obviously see people going out here and going to go find sperm to breed a bully and to breed a Frenchie. So you know you could go find some sperm to breed a damn uh, French bulldog. You know what I'm saying? The dogs, man, they're everywhere. You know, so we can say one thing about these color dogs. They did not, they did not originate in England, France, or Europe. They didn't. If you got a blue dog, a gray dog, a tricolor dog, a merle dog, those are not the French bulldogs that originated in England, in France, and Europe. That Those are not the dogs that did. No, 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 no. They made the dogs, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh... In, in 1889, I had it written down. In 1889, yeah, a brindle dog was the very first winner. Okay, was the very was a first time winner at the Westminster Dog Show in 1889. 
It was a Brindle dog that won. The very first dog to ever win a championship prize at the West Westminster was a Brindle dog. I don't know how that Brindle dog just mysteriously grew traits and roots and all this stuff to make these beautiful dogs. They're tricolored and merle. Hey, they're all pretty, but they're not 100% uh, French. You know what I'm saying? that The AKC does not even recognize the dogs. Okay? Let's just get that put out there. I don't care if you have paperwork that says my dog is an AKC dog. It is not. It is not. Your dog is not an ACD, uh, AKC dog. And then, you know, in the, in the American bully, right? In the American bully, we ain't even going to talk about the height of some of you guys' color dogs, too, because the height is all messed up. The height is all messed up. You know, they have a tendency to say that they are supposed, they're supposed to be like 10 to 13 inches tall. Heck no. Nah. If you sat there and bred it to a bigger dog bigger than a Frenchie, then it's going to have bigger dogs bigger than a Frenchie because you didn't breed it to a Pekingese and get a Merle. You didn't breed it back to a pug and get a Merle. You bred whatever dog you got that Merle from made your puppies a little taller. So you're not meeting the standard when it comes to height either. And they said that these blue, gray, and brindled, I mean, not brindled, but tricolor and pink and purple dogs, all these dogs don't get over 28 pounds. That's a lie right there, too. See, there's so many lies that you can look into that you can just actually start to say, tell the truth and just be like, you know what? I like the dog, but I'm not going to lie to myself and say that it's a full-blooded French bulldog because it's not. It's not a French. It's, it's not a full-blooded Frenchie. You know what I'm saying? The AKC does not recognize none of those dogs. They don't recognize none of those colors. So how you going to sit here and recognize it and say, well, screw what the AKC said. We don't have to listen to them. We're we going to make our own dog. You can make your own dog. But you're not going to tell the AKC that they have to recognize that dog. That's their registry. And they're going to go by all rules. And one rule that they're going by right now is they ain't recognizing that uh, that colorful Frenchie, man. They're not recognizing the colorful French Bulldog. But they are pretty. And, and, I, and I'm not taking the crap on them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taking the crap on the colorful dogs. It's just that a lot of people out here got these dogs. And you'll look at a blue dog and he'll have brown eyes. The eyes be all messed up. The dog be too tall. He's a different color. He got he got Merle on it, and 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 it's <laughs> and it's got Jerry. It's got Jerry curls on his head, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's a pretty dog. And then one thing that 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 I noticed about the blue dogs, the blues and the grays, is just like the American Bully, man. They got that CDA. I kind of was looking up everything on this uh blue dog man like why do they continuously lose their hair why do they continuously lose their hair you know i just why color dilution alopecia cda color dilution alopecia is what it's called and, in, and American bullies have it, too. You know what I'm saying? You see some of the bullies be losing their fur. Miss Nuno used to lose her fur all the time. You, you be going to get fish oil. You be shit. Some people didn't use Crisco on a lot of food and they dog food. You know, you be putting eggs and all this stuff you putting on there, man, to try to keep your dog from um, not shedding their fur. And it usually happens in the summertime. And that's why on one of my videos, you know, I'll be talking about how, you know, you, in the summertime, you got to watch the dust. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got to watch the dust mites. Atopic dermatitis is real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, atopy. At atopy is, is what they call it. Atopy. Atopic dermatitis. I just be looking stuff up and reading on stuff. I'm no veterinarian. I'm not extra educated and smart. And, and things, but I do look up dogs, and you know what I'm saying, um, yeah, you know, all that stuff comes along with CDA, you know what I'm saying, 
And this is what makes these dogs lose their fur. But original French bull dogs don't usually use lose their fur like that. You know? So, you know, when you start buying these dogs, you got to start doing your homework on the dogs. You got to start noticing what's different about your dog, you know what I'm saying, versus a real standard American Kennel Club dog, even though you like it for its color, even though you like it for its look. What's different, man? You know what I'm saying, man? Uh, because you, you got to understand, the more you breed the dog, the more you're destroying a breed that's been set, you know what I'm saying, since, since 1889, way back then, man, since the 1800s. So the more you breed this dog, the more you really screwing up a breed. But if you breeding a dog to make a better dog, then can't nobody complain. But you know what I'm saying? At the same time, you can't just go around and tell somebody that it's a Frenchie. <laughs> Sometimes I be acting stupid, man. I'm for real. Y'all for, hey, forgive me, bro, but I'm for real. But you just can't just walk around telling people, you know, I, I, I made this blue and purple Frenchie. And it's AKC registered. You know, a lie is a lie, and they need to be debunked, and they need to be, you know, touched sometime, even though we like the dogs that you're lying about. We still need to touch them because there might be some people that just don't know. They might really think that color dog that you have is full-blooded, and it's not. It's not even AKC recognized. They don't even They don't even want them. They don't want, you'll never see that shit walking the American Kennel Club floor because those are not the dogs that originated in England. Those are not the dogs that originated in France. Those are not the dogs that originated in Europe. Those dogs originated in America when people started crossbreeding and they came up with this look and that's the desired look that they like. And they running with it. We are not to talk about it. If you don't, if you don't uh, like the dog, then just don't own it, you know? But if you like the dog, then you can own many of them. But if you want to educate yourself on the French Bulldog, then go for that too, because a color dog is not a Frenchie. It may look like a Frenchie, but if you own a 100% uh, American French Bulldog from the American Kennel Club, I would never, if it was a female, I would never breed her to a color dog. That's just me. You can do what the hell you want, you know what I mean? Because y'all make beautiful dogs anyway, every day. We just probably don't like some of the dogs that y'all like, but we got to keep it real. They are sick. Most of them are sick, about ready to die, but a lot of them are just dope like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a lot of them are just dope like that, you know, face the bully. All right. Welcome to another episode of Face the Bully, where I like to talk about dogs, man. And this, this right here topic, I'm thankful that God just let us sit back and be able to talk you know what I'm saying, smoothly and gently about dogs. So everybody have a nice day and keep your dogs fed. <laughs> keep that boo-boo off the ground. You know what I'm talking about? It's good, y'all, man. Have a nice one.